In the old days, keeping track of your health was kind of a subjective task. If someone asked, how are you doing? You might say, I feel fine. Or, I feel kind of sick. Or, my head hurts and I need a coffee. Sure, you might weigh yourself on the bathroom scale every now and then. Or, take your temperature if you felt a fever coming on. But the amount of actual health data you could collect about yourself, and what you could do with that data, was pretty limited. Recently, that's been changing. Thanks to smartphones, smartwatches, and personal activity trackers, you can now create a far more detailed and objective portrait of your own health. There are all kinds of things you can now track. Pedometers and GPS trackers let you see how active you are and how far you walk or run each day. Heart rate monitors track your heart's activity changes in response to things like stress. There are devices to measure glucose levels in your blood, body fat composition, or even the complete 3D shape of your body. But that's just the start. Devices and sensors are becoming cheaper and more sensitive every year. It won't be long until you can track things like proteins and bits of RNA in your blood that can reveal how your individual organs are doing, or bits of DNA from tumor cells that might indicate the presence of cancer before it causes symptoms. Being able to access and understand your data portrait can help you make better lifestyle decisions, both to prevent illness and to improve treatment when you do get sick. But perhaps most importantly, data portraits shift medicine from being primarily about treating disease to maintaining health. Because let's face it, most of us don't seek medical help until we feel something's wrong. And by then, a disease that might have been cheap and easy to prevent becomes costly and difficult to treat. So, with more powerful, easier to use technology, our health data portraits could help us feel better and stay that way for a long time. To find out more about the Philips Living Health series, visit www.newscientist.com/living_health.